Hello, this is Mr. Hornsby 83 with the Mr. Hornsby 83 topic, the uh, Shark Week topic show I talked about. The reason why I'm doing it this week is because Shark Week just concluded Sunday, so I figured I'd do that. Probably this coming Sunday I'll have a stream and lay down a review, but yeah, Shark Week pretty much was a uh, great white heavy, you know, week. All they did, most of the documentaries they had on were about great whites, whether it be about, you know, their biting radius or, you know, the great white serial killer. They said they're not going to do an Omega Don Shark because the new president of, uh, whatever that channel is, Discovery or whatever, said uh, it was fake. If that's the case, that really sucks because, you know, they shouldn't have did it in the first place if it was fake. So that's all I'll say. A lot of people, especially me, because like I said in 2013, when they did the first Megalodon special, I was like, man, that's exciting, and it's freaking scary. But, man, I don't mind it being a great white heavy. I mean, they did a, shark, a show, like, about the freaking Makos being able to breach out a freaking ocean the way a great white does. But, you know, a Mako doing it, it's okay. But, you know, when you got a huge shark like a freaking great white, Jumping out of the freaking ocean to catch a seal, that's amazing. That a big freaking creature like that could do that. And you know, I am a big great white fan, I got the great white tattoo here. And a lot of people are like, well, what's the significance, you know? And my shirt, the great white, what's on my shirt? But they're like, well, what significance is it to you? I'm just a fan of shark. Great white shark. Would I freaking have one? No. Would I swim with one? No. But you know, I think they're a very awesome creature, and they're very, uh, probably the greatest predator out there. And, you know, even though they prefer seals, you know, it's still nerve-wracking, because, you know, you don't know what them things are capable of. I mean, I've seen a couple of them where they're, like, huh? Dark spray. Dark spray. But, um, yeah, I mean, great whites, that's the greatest predator out there because, you know, they are basically the king of the sea if the Megalodon really is in fact, which I, I believe it is. I think it is. I don't care if them freaking, them were fake or not. I think it's, it's still out there, you know, but, um, I mean, because they've made so many discoveries with other sharks. Oh, another one they did is the freaking alien shark where they caught a Mega Mouth shark, which is pretty cool. I like that one too, but uh, mostly I paid attention to a lot of great white stuff. I mean, because like I said, man, great white. And hey, in fact, just recently, you know, there's no great whites there, but we were just at the aquarium and we walked over to Shark Bridge thing, which was pretty amazing. I loved seeing the hammerhead at that aquarium. I mean, I think it's the only one there. Because, you know, some things, their main food source is stingrays, so they probably don't want to have too many because they got stingrays in that. Uh, but, uh, yeah, I mean, it was a pretty good Shark Week, even though, you know, I was hoping that, you know, it, there was evidence that uh, Megalodon really does exist still. I mean, because, like I said, they've discovered creatures, especially on the freaking Shark Week, but they've discovered freaking sharks that they thought were extinct years ago. I just think people are scared to admit that the Megalodon might still be out there, just like I believe over here in the northern Kentucky area, in the Ohio River, we got bull sharks. I mean, we've already, there's already been one caught. I mean, it died, but, and it was a baby, but, you know. It was dead. I found it. Well, it was dead or whatever. But still, they got it, they're here. And this, this is probably a good spot because there is a lot of fish in this river, so. I wouldn't be surprised if, uh, you know, bull sharks are here to hunt some of the fish that are here. I mean, especially if they're, like, gigantic fish, like two feet two claiming. But, <laughs> you know, yeah, pretty good Shark Week. I love watching Shark Week every year, rather, you know, like I said. The only thing I hated about Shark Week last year was the freaking submarine thing, because that thing, you could tell that was fake, period. Because everything they said sounded like something from one of the Jaws movies. I mean, oh, it's a gigantic shark over 20 feet long. 
is being human. You know, this, I'm like, come on now. You know, and yeah, I, the same on Discovery, but let me get to that point where they were putting some fake stuff on there, like submarines. And you know, like I said, the second Megalodon special did seem like it was fake, because there was a lot, the only thing I said that was really solid evidence was the freaking teeth. That was the only solid evidence he had. All, the freaking footage of the freaking shark eating the freaking whale, that was fake. Now, um, the freaking picture or whatnot, that looked like a freaking great white, you know, from above. It didn't look long enough to be a freaking Megalodon. Um, the, uh, what else? Oh, yeah, the baby, the so-called baby Megalodon. Yeah, that, uh, after I watched it again, I'm like, yeah, it does look kind of fake. But, um, pretty, uh, pretty good Shark Week. Like I said, great white heavy. I mean, right now, until somebody actually finds real proof of a Megalodon being alive, can you just see a great white? Just like, and, you know, I don't like how, you know, sometimes people misrepresent great whites because they're like, oh, um, you know, great whites are man-eaters. They don't care for human flesh. They care about a freaking big fat seal or a freaking dead whale or whatnot. They don't care about no freaking bag on, you know, they don't care about no, uh, human being unless, you know, unless they're desperate. Then they have to eat like 20 human beings or like a very, really big fat guy that about as fat as a fish. But, you know, other than that, I don't think, uh, great whites really, you know, you know, they get this reputation, and, you know, even though there's, like, dangerous sharks, like bull sharks, who are more dangerous than probably a great white, but still, like I said, I wouldn't swim at one, I wouldn't freaking pet one, I wouldn't even freaking maybe get in the cage, but I would not want to freaking, you know, I would not want to be in open water for those things. And like I said, I love them. I know they're not going to eat me, but you never know. Because, you know, sometimes when you see these documentaries, they'll come in close and like, act like they're trying to intimidate people. That can be scary with it in itself. They just try to intimidate people. So, you know, they're sharp, smart creatures, especially the great white. They're probably like, hey, people think we're man eaters? Let's intimidate some of these people. You know? But, uh,. I'll about do it for this video. Uh, the next video I should have will probably, well, I don't know, because I'll probably watch freaking Battlegrounds to see what happens. Uh, uh, but I'll probably do a Ray Donovan review and a Spring review Monday. So, you know, because like I said, after SummerSlam, I'm done with WWE, well, current WWE stuff, period. Unless it's figures and, you know, but, you know, no John Cena figures. You can ask my son. I don't buy any Cena figures. I have someone else buy it, or I'll ask, if he wants to have someone else buy it for him, he can. I won't freaking buy one. I refuse to freaking pay for a freaking Cena figure. I hate the freaking guy as a wrestler. Great guy to, for working out, but I just hate the guy as a wrestler. But that'll do it. Please like this video, leave a comment, subscribe. Follow me on my Facebook fan page at Mr. Hornby. 83 topic, or no, Mr. Hornsby 83 topic, that might be Facebook and Twitter, Mr. Hornsby 83 topic, my Facebook page, follow me on Twitter, at Mr. Hornsby 83, I try to post stuff on both things simultaneously, like, I'll put something on my fan page, share it to my regular Facebook page, and then I'll go on Twitter, and put it on my Twitter page, and then, but that'll do it till Monday for the review for Ray Donovan, episode 2 of season 3, um, spring, episode 2 of season 2. Love that show, I'll talk more about those when I do the review, TK.